Hi guys, welcome to Empower and my name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So in this video, I wanted to talk about how to delegate elegantly. So one thing that I love about the NCLEX and I'm saying that very sarcastically is that they encourage you to always delegate. And when you get out on the floor, it is a lot harder than it looks because you're really sometimes, you know, working with people that don't want to be delegated to. So when I first started, I thankfully had the opportunity to work as a nursing assistant for a summer before I actually started working as a nurse. So I had a little bit of experience working as a nursing assistant. And what did help was understanding their routine and what they were responsible for and how long things kind of took. So if you can get some kind of an experience as a nursing assistant, it will help you out so much. <laughs> So one thing I think that every nurse needs to fundamentally understand is that the job of the nursing assistant is ultimately the job of the nurse. So if the nursing assistant can't get it done, it still needs to get done, which means that the only other person to do it is going to be the nurse. Here are some things that I do to help me delegate um, tasks that I cannot do elegantly. The first thing is that I try to get a feel for the unit. I try to get a feel for what their routine is and what they're responsible for. So before I start anything, I always have a conversation with a nursing assistant. We talk about the patients, what's expected, and I always ask them, how many patients are you responsible for? As a nursing assistant, I worked and I realized that anything really over eight to 10 patients, depending on the acuity of the patient, the amount of care that a nursing assistant can do, it dramatically decreases. There's only so many patients that you can give a bed bath to. I mean, bed baths take a while. And then you also have vital signs and blood sugars and everything on top of that. So understanding that beyond eight to 10 patients, and I say it again, according to acuity, you're really going to need to help the nursing assistant out. You can't really hold somebody responsible for everything when it's not really possible. <laughs> so that's the first thing I do. I understand what their responsibilities are, what their roles are, especially on that unit. The other thing is I establish myself as a team player. Every time a patient needs to use the restroom, I'm not just going to call them. If I have time, I will go help them. I will go change my patient. I will check their blood sugars if I'm available. You know, if I have time, I will do things. So I establish myself as a team player in that way. Like we're here for the patient and whatever the patient needs, then we're going to do in one way or the other. The third thing that I do is I always make sure that the nursing assistant is okay. Now, ideally someone would come around to me and ask, hey, are you okay? Like, are you able to keep up? Are you, you know, did you get a snack? Did you get a drink? Did you, you know, are you well taken care of at this moment? Like I would love it if somebody that did that to me. Nobody ever really does that to me. But what I want to do is I want to do what I would like for other people. So what I usually do is I go around to my nursing assistant, especially if I see them working like super hard. And I ask them like, did you get water? Have you had a snack? When's the last time you ate something? Do you need to sit down for a little bit? And make sure they're okay. You know, like making sure that they feel good will help the patients feel good, which will cause less problems for you down the road. <laughs> it's kind of like common sense, like we're all a team here. So if everyone feels good on the team, then it will run smoothly. All right, guys, I really hope that these tips help you out a lot. It's really important that we all pull together as team members and do the best job that we all can collectively. So anyways, I hope you love this video and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. All right, I'll talk to you then. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern time for the weekly nursing pre-huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get Keep, 
and love your nursing job is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.